Welcome, crappy friends. I am here for day three of my December daily. I'm keeping it nice and simple today. I actually got this uh, layout from, I'll have to look her up her name. I'll put it in the uh, down below. But it's just a nice, simple pocket page that's holding a tag that I actually made from a digital. Um, this is a four by six tag, I believe. Um, I just cut that piece of plaid paper from a random piece of paper that I had gotten from, I believe, Hobby Lobby. I love that plaid and thought it worked pretty well. I then cut my Elf on the Shelf picture to a 3x8 divider. I have been loving putting these 3x8 dividers as a, you know, add-on to my album. Definitely probably going to be a lot more. I have a bunch of mini stories for my days. Like I have a main story and then I have like a mini story and I believe I'll be using those in like four by six protectors. I'll probably cut one in half and use it. Uh, yeah. So here I'm just writing my, uh, journaling. I was not really happy with the way that this journaling came out. I wasn't about to reprint this card. I was over it. My printer is really giving me some troubles right now. Um, but um, it's just talking about how the elves come on Thanksgiving night, um, and our littlest one was definitely excited. He had been asking about them for about a week, but also he was more asking about them because he is a bit scared of them, and if they come into their, his room, he definitely doesn't like them in his room. So when they arrived and he seen they were in quarantine, we just did four days. He was pretty excited about that so that he didn't have to worry about them for a few days. Um, but he is always so excited in the morning to wake up and find them. It also then goes into talking about how we have a new magic helper in the house this year and how I'm adjusting to that. Um, it definitely is something new for me, but I am trying to embrace it and... <sighs> kids growing up is not my specialty <laughs> pretty much. So yeah, that is what I am doing here. Other than that, like I said, I am, tr I have had some pages in this album that are a little bit more intensive. Um, but this one, I definitely just wanted to, uh, make pretty simple. Here I am using just some tags from Pretty Little Studio. Actually, this was a freebie. I'm using that black one on top, and as you can see, I've already punched it out. I was working on this page earlier, then cleaned my whole desk um, so that I could actually work, and I cannot find the tag now. I thought I was going to be fine because there was another one. Nope, that one is navy. So as you can see right now, I am searching for that. While searching for that, though, I did come across my red pom-pom uh, trim, and I decided that I was definitely going to add that. Then I go back to looking for it, and yay, I finally found it, like, in the depths of my desk. And I just put, they are arriving up here. Again, ugh, I was having such blanks this night. Um, I just could not figure it out. Um, I had already worked with my computer a ton on this day. And I just wanted to get this page done. Then my pen wasn't working. As you see, I threw that to the side. <laughs> um, and went over it with this darker one. But that is all I believe I then put, yeah, I believe I'm bringing in the heart sticker. Like the heart like pins, enamel pins, and I am going to put those down, or one down, I believe. But first, of course, I'm going to look through everything that I have. I'm looking through all of these letter strips and num uh, word strips, I guess I should say. Here I am. I still have not even put my 2020 kit away because I had been working on my 2019. This is my first year doing this and I decided to try and knock out a few of my 2019 pages. Then came across the fact that I have lost a lot of pictures from 2019. I have successfully managed to find a few of them. Um, but it got me real down and, um, 
I kind of quit. So my 2019 kit is still out and about and I just don't want to mix the two. So I haven't put out my 2020 stuff. I don't know. I'm going through some real, <laughs> some real organizing issues over here. Um, but here I am putting that heart down. Um, I think, yeah, I tried a few different spots and then I ended up just putting it there and saying, forget it. Just let's get this done. And then I will put that red, um, pom-pom stuff on the side. I couldn't figure out if I wanted to put it under the tag or on top of the tag. I ended up just putting it on top, um, and saying, forget about it. But I love that stuff. It's such a cute touch. Thank you guys so much for crafting with me. I hope to have more of these as I work through the days. I'm super new to this, so I definitely wanted to show you guys that, um, you know, it doesn't always go perfect. It doesn't, you know, always come together the right way, but just keep on working on it. And all pages do not have to be crazy busy and you know super interactive like this one I didn't think about the magic at the top um, and now I can't put you know a ribbon on it I think I ended up last night going back and stapling ribbon to the back of this tag um, which you'll see in the pictures after this after this